So I suppose the next thing is hygiene. Like I mentioned with the breath mints. <laughs> we need to look after ourselves because we're working with other people. Um, and it's not just the people that you're working with that you need to consider with your hygiene. It's um, your customers and the patrons in the room as well. Mm. Um, I find doing sound, it's often people come up and go, it's too loud, can you turn it down? And you're like, no, go sit back at your table, I don't care what you think. But you can't say that to them because that's bad. <laughs> but that's what you think. <laughs> like, honestly, I think worse than that, but that's yeah. okay. It's okay to want to kill them, but just don't tell them that. <laughs> <laughs> Never tell them. <laughs> but you are, you're talking to them, so you're breathing on them, and yeah. they're breathing their alcohol-soaked mm. breath on you. At least return their breath with a nice minty <laughs> smell. Uh, our work can, can often be sweaty work, but it's, in, it's important for you to have good to not be smelly and sweaty when you're yeah yeah so I normally, that's a challenge i normally carry a can of deodorant in my can of deodorant bag as well be showered before you start yeah i think um yeah showers good i think if you <laughs> know that you are vulnerable to maybe a bit of bo just excessive bo after a few hours of work then maybe just take that extra initiative of uh, just maintaining a bit of more hygiene before you come to work I know it's um, probably not something you want to constantly be thinking about, but it's something to think about, especially in the environment that we work in all the time, especially when there's a lot of individuals, especially when there's a lot of maybe clientele that you want to kind of like, you know, be the best kind of, you know, you want to present yourself the best. It's best to consider those things beforehand, before work. It's kind of difficult to do that when you're at work. So the best thing you can do is before you get to the job, just consider those things. Yeah. Some people run back to back shifts where they like do six hours here, then have an hour, hour and a half break, and then another six yeah. hours. And if they're high, strenuous jobs, then make sure that you're prepared for that. So mm-hmm. get deodorant, um, keep it with you. If you have a second shirt, then yeah, exactly. pack that second shirt and then change it halfway through. Um, not only does that make you feel better and more fresh for your next shift, but it's also better for the people around you. Um, like your customers and your clients will know if you smell bad and they won't want you on their jobs mm-hmm. um, the same thing with like you know, girls have this thing with greasy hair and they don't like it I don't tend to notice apparently but <laughs> my wife's always like you need to wash your hair I'm like why I washed it like a week ago <laughs> <laughs> um, but make sure that you shower make yeah. sure that you wash and keep clean um, and and if you're a smoker, if you're having a lot of, if you're having a cigarette break, consider maybe you know, especially having some mints after your, your cigarette break, so that no one else can smell your cigarette. Because people that don't smoke cigarettes, it's not actually a very nice thing to smell, especially if you're constantly every hour going having a cigarette break. It's not really nice. Yeah, I find it personally difficult to raise the topic of bo with people that might smell a little bit. I do too. Yeah. So, how would you deal with that? I think um, I think it comes down to your relationship with the individual as well. I find it with people that I'm a bit closer with, I, I don't have an issue with. So I think it comes down to building that relationship with the person. So you can come to the point and say, hey man, look, we're working together. You're not just some random person. You're like my coworker, someone who I respect. So out of the respect that I have for you, I'm just going to let you know that, you know, this is something that I think and I think that you could do with this and that. So I think it comes down to your relationship. And I think it's just kind of like, it's not something that you can have it instantly. I think it kind of you work towards it. And I think it shouldn't be something that's frowned upon. It shouldn't be something that's absurd. I think it should be just common. But I think it's building that kind of thing with individuals. I think it's the other person that you're worried about, their response, more so yourself. Yeah. That's that's my opinion personally. Yeah. yeah. That's fair. I think if, if you really struggle with it, you can always call management and just go, look, I don't want to offend the person, but they smell really mm. bad. Um and then leave it in management's hands. <laughs> Just handle it off to the next guy. <laughs> hey, Gunther. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, if you can address it yourself, then go for yeah. it. But again, it is it is definitely a thing. If you don't want to offend or mm. um, feel like the person that you're talking to is stinky all the time and whatever. Because um, you've got to have to work with them again. Mm. You don't want to have that... And you want to be honest with them too. So, like, if I'm not telling them that one thing, I'm not really being honest with them from the from the you know from the first point forward. 
So it's kind of like, if you can just break that tension, it's kind of like, all right, you can just ease into it. But it is not always easy. You know? 